Hello, Printverts. Uh, first off, I want to apologize about the background noise. I have a couple of prints going on, and uh, my neighbor is having a party. All props to him. I'm not invited. I'm here with y'all. A uh, couple of possible fixes that I have come across, and one I discovered, one I can't take credit for. Uh, that was on another video on YouTube. I'll try and find it. Um, this is a 3D touch knockoff of the BL touch. Uh, it has been nothing but problems. I've gone through several of them, three so far, um, and I will say I should have just spent the money. It's just what it comes down to. Uh, but if you're poor like me, uh, this is what we deal with. On the flip side, this is how we get to learn all this stuff and become experts until we're sick of this or uh, we get evicted for spending all of our rent money on 3D parts. So um, the issue some people have been having is with the plunger not coming back up. That one has two possible solutions. One is there is a screw in the top of this guy and depending on how deep you have that set can determine how far back this plunger can go. Um, the way I learned that was actually uh, dis disconnect this from the mount on my printer while having it powered, um, putting it in self-test mode and playing with that screw till I found the distance that worked that still gave me enough clearance. Uh, if you notice, you take it all the way down and that pin just barely moves any and will not trigger the sensor. So you'll immediately fault out. Okay. Here's the second part of that fix. Possible fix. This is off someone else's video. And that is this this guy is not retracting. It could be that screw is too deep and it's, it's jamming up into it. The other option is this actual magnetized in is weak. So you just get your little magnet and you stick it to it. And you can just let it sit there for a while. Personally, I was always taught to rub things across a magnet, try and magnetize them. Only takes a few times, doesn't hurt to spin it around. And now that plunger is just extremely magnetic, almost too magnetic sometimes. And to do that, you're going to put your, your screw back in there, and then you're going to go back and play with the depth to find a good depth that that can go to. That should fix the issue <clears throat> with your pen not pulling back up. That was not the problem I was having. Uh, this guy would work fine for weeks at a time, and then all of a sudden it would go through bed leveling, and usually about the 12th or 13th point because I had that as on a 5x5 five five, um, because I was having so many issues uh, it would fail to deploy so it would get stuck in the up position and I, for the life of me I could not figure out what it was I thought the, the plunger was bent or had dirt on it I would clean it I would move it around and then, then it would just work for another couple prints and then go back to the same thing so it just became habit to wait for the print to start, sometimes, oh lord, ten times to, to get one to start, but then once it'd go, it'd be fine. Then, after thinking about the magnetic issue, I tried that just to see if it would make any difference, and uh, made no difference whatsoever. I noticed that this little end, it's very hard to see, and I probably won't be able to get it on camera at all, no, definitely not. Um, it, it just has a piece of shrink wrap on it, shrink tubing. So I thought, hmm, let me try cutting the end off. You can just barely see a little nub of it. So I cut it down, and then what happened, once it was back reassembled, is it would stick to this screw. It is a metal screw sitting up above a magnet and gets magnetized. Um, so it would go up, hit that, and then just ref not have enough electromagnetic force to deploy that plunger back down. Um, so then I realized after cutting it that was not the fix, but if you were having this issue, you could possibly just cut this shrink tubing off. I have not done this yet. Get you another piece, of longer length, put it back on there, shrink it down, and then you can just Pull this back out two or three times, cut the ends off with some scissors until you find a good length 
with that also playing with the depth of this this screw that it will come retract up into the sensor trigger and then deploy without any issues um, well same way stick into the tools uh, that has cost me oh just months of pain um, I wish I had learned it sooner so I am sharing it with you uh, I will be testing this in a future video to confirm that this theory works but I believe that's it um, and you can actually see here yep that is how magnetic that screw is uh, I would have swore they would have used a plastic one but apparently metal was cheaper and not even aluminum unless this is fancy magnetic aluminum but so yeah strip that end back off with a uh, exacto blade get you a longer piece shrink it down on there and cut it down and I give you some reference of where this is now and length let's see right about there this guy was originally about yay far long and my first thought was seeing it because the way it was shrunk down is it was kind of kinked to one side as maybe it was getting caught but it was not till I pulled that screw out and I had this just hanging on at the end like that that I was like there's our problem so there you go guys if somebody wants to try it let me know if that helps have a good one